During the nesting and breeding season, bluebird pairs work well together, and they're attentive to the needs of their young and to each other. And occasionally, you'll even see them waving their wings to each other as a signal. Year after year, a lot of bluebird landlords see the same pairs returning to nest sites. So it would seem that when bluebirds mate, they mate for life. But that isn't exactly true. While bluebirds often socially mate for life, having the same nesting partners each year, they don't always sexually mate for life. Instead, bluebirds sometimes engage with others who they aren't socially bonded to. Molecular testing has even confirmed that some bluebird nestlings are from other males within several studied fields. The percentage of this occurring, however, varies widely between the studies. To give it a little perspective, in a given clutch or set of eggs within an egg-laying period, out of say, four eggs, sometimes one or more of the eggs is not from the bonded male, but from another neighboring male. And these would be called extra pair eggs. While bluebirds may not be sexually monogamous, for the most part, they are socially monogamous. What that means is each year, usually the same pair of bonds return together to nest again, and both take care of all the nestlings equally, despite some paternal issues. But there are times when socially bonded pairs break up. If that happens, usually the reason is an unsuccessful nesting event. And when this does happen, a bluebird might look for a new mate or a new nesting site or both to have more success in the future. Researchers have had a hard time estimating the extent of extra pair copulation among bluebirds. The best that can be obtained is averages from different field study sites, but there's no complete agreement. For instance, one study found 5% of males and 15% of female bluebirds were taking care of nestlings that weren't their own, and in 25% of the cases, they observed multiple parenting events. In a later study from the same researcher, multiple parenting events were observed in 35% of the studied cases, and yet another study showed 11% of nestlings were really the offspring of another male. So these numbers are really all over the place. There are many reasons why bluebirds would engage outside of their bonded mate. Some of these reasons include the biological need for diversity, low breeding synchrony, having additional males within the population or neighboring territories, or if a nesting spot was on the edge of their territory. Reproductive synchrony is one of the reasons for male bluebird infidelity. The phrase refers to the alignment of fertility between a population of males and females. For instance, one study found that a male might venture elsewhere if the bonded female isn't fertile at that moment. The good news is that extra pair copulation events seem to occur more in newly pair bonds than in pairs that have returned to each other for another breeding season. Bluebirds are not the only songbirds that mate socially. Many species of songbirds are classified as socially monogamous where they share nesting sites and care for nestlings together year after year, but they're not necessarily sexually monogamous. So when it comes to bluebirds, defining the word mate involves two factors, social partnering and copulation partnering. In most observed cases, the social partner is usually the biological parent of most or all nestlings, but there are those occasions where the female has had another copulation partner. In terms of care towards extra pair nestlings, researchers found that there's no difference in care. Many studies show that there's equal attentiveness despite extra pair nesting events. Researchers have even taken males away during their female's fertile period in order to lower the male's confidence about parentage, and still the care was the same. To some, it might seem a little sad that these special couples are a little unfaithful to each other, but there are biological advantages to this and in the end, the couple still remain socially paired for a long time and provide excellent care to their young.